Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. You could have been playing. You genuinely could. You could be playing in the Championship, League One. You could be playing so in League, in League One when, yeah. Do you know when you I mean? transferred. Ollie was in League One when yeah. you came down. Yeah. Uh, this is something we were chatting about earlier on. Like, you weren't 22 when you dropped down. No, no. This no, must have been a big risk it for you. It was massive risk. And to be completely honest, everyone close to me said, don't do it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Everyone. You can't drop down everyone, to the National don't League. Do it. You've, you've worked so hard. You know, you do well. You're doing really well at Wimbledon. You know, I was, I was like the main man there and everything was going really well. And I knew that. I had an important role to play there because when I tore my calf, we slipped from outside the playoffs all the way down to lower mid table. Yeah. So I was out for about eight or nine weeks. Um, so I knew I had an important role to play. And then I came back um, around October, November, and we were doing well. We were picking up again and we picked up a few results. And then ultimately, I made the decision to leave and the club didn't win a game from January to the end of the season. Wow. Um, which I felt partly responsible for, but in truth, the club didn't do enough to keep me there. Yeah. You know? All I wanted was a few extra years. And at that moment in time, um, the club had a philosophy where they wanted to only sign 20, 21 year olds. Uh, okay. And that was the path they were taking literally only in that one or two year period. And that's changed now. That guy's gone, thankfully for the football club. But... Um, so they kind of made it really easy for me to to make the choice, really. Wrexham committed to a three and a half year deal for me. And I spoke to Phil Parkinson about, about the club and the community and and the, where this club's going. Mm. Because all this excitement, although, <clears throat> you know, it's huge now, it wasn't when I joined. It wasn't when Moles joined in the summer before, yeah. you know. And when I came in January, we were sitting eighth in the league. So it wasn't all rosy. It was a real gamble, but it is one I'm so glad I took. I'm so glad. Uh, like I took the, it. the way the way that this club is viewed now, like it's, I think over the last like couple months, especially since we've obviously since we've gone and gained promotion, yeah. and with the way that the owners are dealing with everything, and they're they're appearing on all these kind of chat shows talking about it, like the way this is like this is like the kind of news coverage yeah. a Premier League team gets, yeah. isn't this it? More than what you're probably getting at Watford, without doubt. Oh, yeah. massive! Without it's doubt. Not a Man, like, obviously, at Man United, it might not. Oh, be. It's, it's a different. That's, that's yeah. different completely. Yeah. But you from, say that Ryan's probably got as many followers as Man United by himself for sure. On social mate. media, but for it's, sure. it's a different. It's a different time because it's all about. Don't get me wrong. It's about the club. It's about Wrexham. Yeah. But the the Uniteds of the world, the cities of the world. Yeah. It's they're very protective of the club yeah. and, and what goes out and yeah. what comes in. Whereas yeah. Wrexham, I think we'll talk about it like in a minute, but they're really open to kind they're of huge pushing, yeah. pushing not only the club forward, but yourself forward oh, as well. The owners want us to be super successful in life and they credit to them. They understand that we play lower league and non-league. Well, did play non-league for a short while and lower league, we won't be retiring at 35, 36, 40, 41, hopefully. <laughs> um, and, you know, putting our feet up for the rest of our lives because you don't earn, yeah. you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100,000 so yeah, pounds yeah, a week. Yeah, yeah 200, 300, 400, 500. So it is, um, you know, it, it is the right club to be at because they're so supportive and they've been so supportive of me and my clothing brand and... You know, I can never repay them for that. Talk but they up. know that, and they're, that's why they're. Ta ta tell people. the story about what Rob said to us a few weeks ago, where he he, he got us all in like a little meeting in yeah. the uh, in the stadium in, on, in, on so the seats. So he obviously got the lads together, and he said, um, <clears throat> "I want to talk to everyone outside." And he actually, I actually did know because he spoke to me the day before. He said, "Look, I want to do a meeting with the lads." I said, "Yeah, sweet, do it around half nine, ten, whatever." Um, and all the lads, you know, went outside, and he kind of sat us down just for ten minutes. Said, "Lads." If any of you want to do anything on the side and start a business, if there's you know a side hustle that you want to do, whether it be a clothing brand, whether it be a podcast, whether you know if you want to start a car leasing company, whether you music, just something on the side, like we'll help you. And he didn't need to do that. Mm. Like that was amazing from Rob because he didn't need to do that. That was that little bit extra where you know he took everyone outside and said, "Look, we know this isn't going to be forever." But we want to give you something forever, so it's amazing. It's amazing what they're doing. Yeah, that, that's the. I think that's the big difference because when we were saying earlier on about like Premier League teams and that, it's you, you hear pundits all the time, don't you? Go concentrate on the football. Yeah. And I get it, but people aren't it. robots. People but aren't football. They need other interests. You do, and you know, someone like me, you know, I'm from London. My family's in London. So what do I do on a Monday, Monday night, and 
Thursdays and Fridays, what do, what do I do? Just sit sit in a room and lock myself in, play PlayStation or go play golf all day or why don't I do something productive? Why don't I make a clothing line, you know? I'm, I'm doing it with someone, you know, it's 50-50 and all I'm really kind of doing is choosing the clothes and choosing the materials and the designs and stuff and, you know, it's been really exciting for me and it's... It's been enjoyable, but it doesn't affect my football whatsoever. You know, my football comes first and that'll always be the case. Um, and, you know, if anyone, you know, like Fozzy does his podcast, but I'm sure Wrexham still comes first for you, even in this short period yeah, of time. Yeah, sure. I've, I've been doing this for two years anyway, so you, you, you know how to do it. Yeah, you it's going to make you happier. Yeah. Like if, you're, if you're outside of football, you know, football, you, you, work, you all work really hard, obviously. Yeah. But then if you've got an interest that, yeah. that is giving you... a you know, a pathway in the future and makes you happy. Hundred percent. Then, then it's a win-win, isn't it? Or what, what would you want footballers to sit in? Right, you know, from me personally, I'm away from my family, I'm away from my friends. A, a lot of the team live all over mm. them. You know, players live in Birmingham, Liverpool, um, Hull. So, what do I do? Just sit in a, in a, sit hotel in a room and shut buns. the curtains. So it's you know, do something productive, and it's it's gone really well. Mm. And the people of North Wales. I've really taken to my clothes. I've built a fantastic reputation in six months. Um, we've sold more than what we could cope with, to be honest, but that's we're learning as we go. Um, and it's all, you know, it's going around the world. Brazil, that's amazing. the obvious America, Canada, but yeah, Brazil, China, Korea, to Ireland, to Australia. It's just nuts when I look, every time it blows my mind when I see someone, because I can see where they are. So I yeah, where the orders like are going. I'm a little geek. I'm on my laptop, I'm watching just like... And the analytics page. Yeah. I'm I love just sat that. there and it just pops up like Singapore and I'm like, what? Someone's, someone's so the, the beauty of having the owners, right? So what they, what kind of Rob said in that meeting was, so obviously the, first and foremost, they've, they've put some of Ollie's gear in the club shop, haven't you? You can buy it in the actual yeah. club shop here so, at the stadium to start with. Yeah. So, you know, I wanted to get the club involved. And um, so I said to the club, look, I put some shares of the, of the, um, business into into the into Wrexham and the owner said look let's put it into Wrexham FC Community Trust where we're giving back to the community I nice. said, great idea so we sell my leisure wear in the club shop a lot of people think it's Wrexham it's not it's just called WXM clothing um, which we might be changing in the near future um, to something relatable still but um, it's just the way that we do our designs and how we feel. We might kind of make a few tweaks, but that's again, it's just a few subtle changes, and it's it's exciting for us. And but the club have been really supportive, and um, they've had it in the club shop, and we're now in you know five retail stores, and um, yeah, just built a great reputation, and it's good, it's great, you know. We'll, we'll, put, a, we'll put a link in the description yeah. down below as well. At the top of it, that'll be we the, made these the link special the ones. This this is something we said we'd never do, which is actually Wrexham. Yep. AFC base, you know, but I couldn't help myself. I thought, you know what? I'm going to make something for the people of Wrexham. Yep. And I was never going to do it. It was always just going to be leisure wear. Don't be saying clothing, leisure wear. But once we won it, I just thought, no, oh, I'm going to make something really We're cool traveling to lads. Vegas in these. Yeah, days. we're going to travel to that. Vegas in these. And these do... are heritage hoodies, but I just added a little twist to it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.